You're a man, playing sports, sweating, sprinting toward the finish line. And suddenly, you bend over, gasping for breath, only to see blood dripping from your penis, running down your thigh. Panic and fear would hit you hard, right? That's exactly the feeling many girls experience when they first get their period during puberty. This is a phenomenon that happens every month for decades of a woman's life. On average, a woman loses about 22 to 25 liters of blood over her lifetime due to menstruation. This blood isn't just red blood cells and white blood cells, it's filled with countless mysterious components. Want to know more? Watch this video to the end. Second, second menstrual cycle. Menstruation is the monthly process where blood flows from a woman's vagina. It's a completely normal and miraculous physiological process, signaling that a woman's body is functioning properly. When an egg isn't fertilized, the uterine lining sheds, carrying blood and mucus out of the body, forming the menstrual cycle. It sounds simple, but menstrual blood is more than just blood. So what's in menstrual blood? Let's do a simple experiment. We'll take a sample of menstrual blood from a young woman and examine it under a microscope to see what the naked eye can't. Under the microscope, menstrual blood appears like a chaotic yet vibrant painting. Red blood cells dominate tiny, round, densely packed covering the slide. Mixed in are white blood cells larger with distinct nuclei standing out among the red. You'll also see fragments of the uterine lining looking like crumpled, torn pieces of paper, some stretched into thin fibers, others clumped together. There's also cervical mucus, a few sloughed off vaginal skin cells, and sometimes resident bacteria, tiny specks floating in this miniature biological world. Have you ever felt itching, burning, stuffiness, or noticed an unpleasant odor even after changing your pad? Ever wondered if something's off but didn't know why? It's not your body that's the problem. The issue often lies in the sanitary pads you've been using every month for years without questioning. Sanitary pads and tampons are the most common products women use during their periods. Both are designed to absorb menstrual blood, keep the vaginal area dry, and limit bacterial growth. Globally, about 1.9 billion women are of reproductive age, and over 80% of them use disposable sanitary products monthly, mostly pads, though tampons are growing in popularity but there are many cheap, low-quality sanitary pads of unclear origin in various countries, often bleached with dioxin, a chemical that can disrupt hormones, cause gynecological infections, and even increase the risk of cervical cancer. Odorless, colorless, and not immediately painful, dioxin is a silent threat to women's reproductive health over time. It's estimated that 250 to 400 billion sanitary pads are used worldwide each year, a staggering number. If just one-tenth of those are counterfeit, low quality or unsafe, that's tens of billions of pads in direct contact with women's bodies. Each pad containing toxic chemicals, industrial bleach, or unsafe materials is a ticking time bomb, causing infections, allergies, hormonal disruptions, or worse, affecting fertility. The scariest part? Most users don't even realize it. These effects aren't immediate, they build up silently and only become apparent when it's too late. Here, I have two types of sanitary pads, one high quality and one low quality. Let's test their quality. First, we'll check absorbency, the most critical feature of a sanitary pad. 
I'll pour the same amount of a liquid simulating menstrual blood onto the center of each pad. We'll observe. How quickly does the liquid spread? Does the surface stay dry? Does it leak back when lightly pressed? A high quality pad absorbs quickly, locks moisture inside, and leaves the surface dry. A low quality pad, on the other hand, absorbs poorly, leaks easily, or feels wet and stuffy creating a breeding ground for bacteria. Next, we'll cut open the pads and examine their inner cotton layers under a stereo microscope. Let's see, what's the core material like? Is it smooth, clean, and uniform? Good quality sanitary napkins use super absorbent polymer, have a uniform texture and less fiber dust. Poor quality sanitary napkins have revealed uneven fragments and even impurities. If low quality sanitary pads can cause harm, tampons which go deeper inside the body require even more scrutiny. Unlike pads, Tampons come into direct contact with the vaginal mucosa, which has an absorption rate comparable to the mouth's. This means if a tampon contains toxins, bacteria, or harmful bleaching chemicals, the body absorbs them much faster than through skin contact. Here we have two tampons, one high quality and one low quality. Let's compare them. First, we'll test absorbency by dipping them into a liquid simulating menstrual blood. I have two test tubes with this liquid. We'll insert each tampon into a test tube.
Next, we'll do a burn test to detect industrial materials or toxic chemicals. Observe the smoke, ash color, and burning speed. Black smoke or a plastic-like smell suggests synthetic fibers, like rayon or polyester, rather than 100% cotton. Choosing a sanitary pad or tampon may seem trivial, but these products come into direct contact with your body's most sensitive area month after month for decades. If they're low quality, contain bleaching chemicals, fragrances, or recycled materials, each use exposes your body to toxins. This is especially true for tampons, which are inserted directly into the vagina, where the mucosa absorbs substances as quickly as under the tongue. So don't choose based on price, convenience, or habit. Prioritize unscented, chemical-free products, ideally made from organic cotton, and never leave a pad or tampon in too long bacteria, fungi, and infections are waiting for their chance. Reproductive health is silent. It doesn't hurt right away. But when problems arise, they're hard to fix. So take it seriously, starting with the small things. Choose wisely, use correctly, and listen to your body. Beyond pads and tampons, menstrual cups are a great alternative. Made from medical-grade silicone, they're free of chemicals, don't cause dryness or irritation, and instead of absorbing blood, they collect it, making them safer for your vaginal health. Menstruation isn't just a woman's personal matter. It's about health and the right to protect your body safely. If you're a woman, care for your body as it deserves. If you're a man, understand, respect, and support the women in your life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so more people can learn about reproductive health. Sometimes, just one piece of accurate information can protect a body for a lifetime.